Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Silent Core and welcome back to my Red Dead News series. Today I'm going to be going over the free gifts that you guys can get in Red Dead Online for New Year's. So this is officially my first video in this decade, so Happy New Year's guys. Hope you had a awesome and safe New Year's. But if you want to claim your New Year's gift in Red Dead Online, you basically have a six day window to do so. And that is from between the 31st of December, so New Year's Eve, and the 6th of January, so next Monday. Now the reason this ends on the 6th of January is because we can assume that the 7th of January will be the first update to Red Dead Online for 2020. So as you'll see from the gameplay in the background, to claim your gift, you just need to hit the start menu, go to benefits, and then go to the Offers and Rewards section and you'll find a coupon to get 1000 XP for each of the four specialist roles. So you'll get 1000 XP for the Moonshiner, the Bounty Hunter, the Trader and the Collector. Obviously this is most useful if you're not already maxed in all of these roles. If you are maxed, it's basically just going to add 1000 XP to your role that doesn't really do anything. Personally, I'm maxed in the Trader and the Collector, however, this 1000 XP was enough to actually rank me up to rank 20 in the Moonshiner, so I'm now maxed in the Moonshiner, and also to rank 19 in the Bounty Hunter, so I just need one more level and I'll be maxed in all four. Now, you'll only find these coupons in your account if you log into Red Dead Online between the 31st of December and the 6th of January. However, once you have them actually in your account, you have until the 17th of February to claim them. After the 17th of February, these coupons will expire and you won't be able to use them. And there's not really any reason to wait to use them anyway, so you might as well log on and use them straight away. I actually compared the gifts that we got in Red Dead Online to the gifts that Rockstar were giving out for Christmas and New Year gifts into Grand Theft Auto Online, and it definitely seems like we got the short end of the stick. Grand Theft Auto players were getting a multi-million dollar tank for logging in on Christmas Day, and they also got lots of fun outfits and weapons and um, items. Uh, for logging in on New Year's also, so we definitely got the short end of the stick for us Red Dead Online players. I'm not really sure if it's because Grand Theft Auto Online is six years old at this point, so Rockstar are being a lot more generous with their gifts, or if it's just the fact that Red Dead Online doesn't have as many players as Grand Theft Auto Online, so it's less of a priority for them. But yeah, either way, there are a couple of discounts that you guys might want to take advantage of before the 6th of January, so you have a few more days to get 5 gold bars off of the cost of a butcher's table, and 25% off the cost of a medium delivery wagon, the Bounty Hunter variant of the Schofield Revolver, and the Collector's variant of the Lancaster Repeater. And just a friendly reminder in case any of you guys have just got Red Dead Redemption 2, there is also a seasonal gift from Rockstar and there's a much bigger window to claim this one so you just basically log in Red Dead Online anytime from the 13th of December until the 6th of January and you can get yourself 3000 Club XP, $200 per roll that you start. So if you haven't already started the Moonshiner, the Trader, the Collector or the Bounty Hunter rolls you'll get $200 each. You'll also get a free trader resupply reward, a free weapon component of your choice, a free treasure map, a free moonshiner mash refill reward, and also 30% off of one stable slot. To be honest with you guys, I have been playing Red Dead Online a lot less the last couple of weeks just because the game's just been so broken. It's just been a bit ugh playing the game with all the animal spawns messed up, the camps not spawning, and then of course the moonshiners update still not working correctly. It's still Black screens half the time, you lose your mash, you lose your product. There's just so many issues with the game right now, and it's a real, a real shame that Rockstar kind of left this one in such a broken state over the holiday period. I think they probably had a really bad first impression for anybody that did get the game over Christmas and wanted to hop into online and was just like, where'd all the animals go? Why is the game not working? So hopefully Rockstar does address that in the update next week on the 7th of January. But until then, I'm probably not going to be grinding the game out as much as I used to until some of those issues are fixed. Of course, I'll keep you guys updated with all the latest breaking news and updates for Red Dead Online and Red Dead Redemption 2, so don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new, so you don't miss out on any future breaking news. Have a good one guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.